Can children construct these schools on their own? Well, it's hard to believe. Although Piaget would say, yes, children should construct their cognition on their own. But let's refer to this analogy between tools, technical tools, tools of labor that mediate practical activity, and psychological tools that mediate mental processes. Let's refer to this analogy. Do we want children to reinvent all the practical, technical tools that have been developed by the culture, by their culture, by their society? No, of course not. Society gives these tools to children ready-made, correct? Otherwise, human progress would be impossible. Human progress is, is uh, becomes possible because every new generation gets all the tools, technical tools, tools of labor that have been designed by all the previous generations. That's why there is a constant growth, correct? So, according to Lugoski, the same is true for psychological tools. Even if it's possible, theoretically, that the child may reinvent, you know, a certain psychological tool. Wouldn't it be easier just to teach the child this tool? So, according to Lugoski, adults should teach children these psychological tools. And children acquire and master these tools, internalize these tools, and these tools come to mediate children's mental processes. As a result, as a result, uh, as a result, children develop high mental processes, specifically human mental processes.